Good morning, everybody. This is NCP. As you can hear, we're online. I'm turn the volume down. Okay, so I finally got it up. I mean, there's, there's still more work to do. You know, this is this is divorce waiting to happen, but we'll get it. But um, sorry for that. But um, like I said, we got it. <clears throat> so we're online. This uh, LMR 400 is some really thick cable. The short comparison, there's my finger. But it's, it's so stiff. But I ran it up to the floor here. And like I said, I got some more wiring to, to do here. That looks dirty. <laughs> it's all dust on everything. But what I want to do... <clears throat> well, let me let me back up here. Um, everybody gets a, a cheap uh, handheld for preps. These little bow pings are they're nice radios, like I like them. You know the the BX um whatever this is 7R. They're nice radios too. And they're tri band. But that's not good for prepping because it's local. Um it's just local. And if, if stuff goes down, you know, like, like for example right now, I think the government shut down this morning for a while. And um, that's going to stop the FCC from processing uh, applications for ham radio. So if you don't have it done now, you got to wait a while until it starts back up. Um, anyway, what I was getting to say is, you know, you can, everybody can get one of these, but you can't just take a big HF radio, like an ICOM or something, something on the higher band or lower bands of the, the HF, high frequency bands. Um, you can't just take one and say, I'm going to set it up. They're a pain in the butt and have to be tuned. And if you don't have your license, you know, you, you need it. Um, but, but we're up now, and um, I'm going to set up the airmail station here uh, a little bit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean all this wiring up and drill some holes in this desk over there in the corner where no one can see and run everything, put the drawers back in. And this will be my ham station, you know. I'll put some big uh, pictures up there. You know, i got to do it. Alexa, turn off the ham lights. Ha, okay. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Alexa, turn on the ham lights. But, um... Okay. <clears throat> now, she can do propagation reports, too. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I've forgotten how to do it. Um, there's a command to ask. But Alexa has a lot of skills. Cancel. Mm -hmm. Every time you say her name, she responds. But, they... You need one. <laughs> I'm just gonna say right there. You need one. That's the Echo Dot, and they're about twenty-nine dollars. You absolutely need one. They control everything. They're cool. Um, I'm not gonna get into the whole. Uh, there's a microphone in your house or whatever. Uh, they only record uh, like thirty seconds of audio, and it just loops listening for the command word. I don't think they can handle the data back from all the, all that kind of audio. I mean, you know what? I don't care. You know, people worry about that and they have a cell phone in their pocket. Anyway, <clears throat> gonna get all this done. I've rewired the outlet up there for um, uh, GFCI and all that stuff. It was a two pronger. I've got. I still got to run some uh, a ground. I put my lightning, <coughs> <coughs> my lightning stuff up to protect the the unit. I've got to. I'm gonna go down in that uh, basement area down there and. Um, I'm gonna run the wire right through there, ground wire. I think it's number 10, I think. Uh, or 12, I don't know, can't see from here. But we're gonna wire that up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive um, some, some uh, grounding rods right down there in the basement for the RF system. And we're gonna do everything individual so we don't have a, a ground loop going. <coughs> and then um, I didn't drive, drive one out. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't drive a a ground rod out by the tree out there which I'll, I'll show later to you another video but I don't want to poison the tree with copper um, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about that I want it near the tree that the antenna is on the G5 RV but not I don't want it piercing the tree you know so I gotta get in between the roots somehow or just have to run it farther away I don't know but the HF is up the two meter stuff will be up um, I've got another uh, 100 foot of this uh, LMR 400. It's really stiff cable. 
I'm gonna run that to the a big antenna outside, uh, HF antenna. I forget the brand. I'll link it. But they're on sale. They're like $110 antennas. And I got for like 50 on Amazon. I'll link all this good stuff below, and you know that'll help support the channel and good stuff because I've I've hemorrhaged a lot of money on this, <laughs> even though I had all the equipment. See, there's there's a deal. You can't just start up. <coughs> Excuse me. You can't just start and say, I'm going to buy the ham radio equipment and just use it if something happens, uh, you know, apocalypse or whatever. How are you going to power it? I've got gel cells downstairs, which is going to be integrated up here somewhere. Somewhere. Maybe downstairs. I could run that. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't worked on the power station yet, but... <clears throat> it can all be done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, you can't just you can't just set up a ham radio and go. You have to tune it, you have to learn how it works. I mean this radio is so complex. I I, I bought it way back then because I wanted everything on it that I could have everything and not worry about. Digital filtering and this and that. Okay, I don't know how to use it. I use ham radio lux in there. There, you know, there's problems with that too, but, you know, you just got to learn. I got the manual somewhere. I don't know. But you can't just say, I'm going to just get up and get on the air. You got to know what your SWR is, you know. You're going to need antenna tuners. Um, we're running a, uh, uh, what is that? LDG Z11 Pro. Now it's two. There's my digital, uh, set my, uh, signal link. And then I just got this set up right now just to extend the cable until I run it later. But I got my power supply back there. It's just it's just a lot to it. I mean, this looks like the Terminator threw up. You know? But we'll get it. <coughs> anyway, this is NCP. Um, I want you guys to submit some stuff to me for uh, digital modes. And let's see if we can get a prepper... Um, a relay going for mail. Um, I've gotten in the past, I've gotten satellite data for maps, so you can do weather off grid if something happens. As long as the solar power satellites are still working in orbit, uh, I could do that. You can send files. I've talked to California on two meters, on, on actually on this radio here. I've talked to California from North Carolina. And I used a, a Yagi antenna made out of old arrows. But you can bounce it and you get a couple of minutes a day, but you know, you still got to have your elements, your coupler elements to figure out where the satellite's going to be, but that's another story. You can get that in advance and stuff, but you could do it, but you can't just say, I'm going to do it now, just pull it out of my butt and do it. You've got you've to have the skill set to use the tools. So I encourage everybody to get a ham radio license. If you're into prepping, communications is a force multiplier. I don't know how much, but it's a lot. So get out there, get prepping, get your get your ham radio gear, get it set up. That's pretty much it for this video. Um, like I said, I'll put links to all the equipment here. That this little antenna antenna laser. Uh, this one has Bluetooth on it. It was pretty neat. Um, yeah, I like it. It is basically it's a copy of the the Sark uh, one ten one hundred, I think. Or the many, I forget one of them. But they had a promotional thing, and they're like thirty dollars off right now. So I don't know. I'll I'll put links to all this stuff. But yeah, order through the links. It's good for me. It's good for the channel. It propagates the learning. Um, all right, so go ahead and get your get get a radio, get it set up. And you don't need an ICOM. You don't need an expensive radio. You know, I've got a tube radio, Swan 350, in there. I'm going to work on that and find out why I busted a tube, or one of the tubes I think is out or loose. But that's 400 watts. That will stomp on this icon. Now, it may drift in frequencies, and you got to learn to tune it and all that. But it's fine. You know, you can figure it out. It's fine. But that's EMP proof. That thing runs at like 700 volts or 900 volts or something like that. Some scary level. But... Hey, you know, use it. Get out and get on the air. All right, well, this is NCP. I got to get ready and go to work here today. Um, I don't know what time it is. Um, 
It's almost five, I guess. All right, have a good one, everybody. NCP out.